Boom, baby. What is up, guys? How are you? My name is Tyler Nolan, and welcome to my channel. So today, as you can see, I have this new little cage right here set up. Um, I'm moving the baby king into this cage because he has not eaten yet. And I was talking with Henry back and forth over at Underground, who has one of the babies also. And he was saying that maybe the cage that I have him in a little bit too big and he's got too many hiding spots and he's just too overwhelmed with everything that then maybe that's why he's not eating another reason why is because i've been trying to feed him live geckos and live anoles which were freaking him out i guess if he was eating dead he was eating he, they said he was eating dead but they also said that he was eating live ringneck snakes so i've been looking for ringneck snakes for a minute now since i got them for like so probably over a week now um i have not been able to find any Talked to a few people, they said they were gonna catch him. Yada yada, long story short, finally, Tom over at Underground hit me up, said, hey, we got some baby ringnecks in today. I guess a couple people caught them. By the way, ringnecks are not protect, only key, only key ringnecks, the ones super south found in the keys. Those are the only ones that are protected right now. Not the regular common Eastern ringneck like I'm about to feed. So, we got some ringnecks. Look, I'll, I'll make sure they're super nice. I'm not gonna throw them in the air or slam them on the table. Like, I know you guys were freaking out at that last video. My eyelash viper died and I was throwing him around, I guess. I didn't even realize it. I was upset, you know? I was just bummed out. Like, my snake died, give me a break. A lot of people, like every other comment on that post is, oh, you stop throwing your snake around. Relax, dude, it's dead. Relax. Obviously, they're like, oh, you have no respect for animals. Obviously, I have a lot of respect for animals. Look, I got a house full of animals. So, pump the freaking brakes on that. Anyways, let's get to what we're doing, though. King Cobra, I'm going to move him into this cage. Doesn't have to. I'm going to put some branches in here, too, for him. But we're going to see if he's going to eat. That's the main thing right now. I really want to see. I got three baby ringnecks in here. See if this is going to happen. Okay, so this is what we have him in now. And I guess Henry's saying this is probably too big. So we're going to get rid of this. It definitely gets, it's hot in this room. A lot of people are like, oh, there's no heat on it, blah, blah. It is, I'm sweating right now. Like it is definitely really hot in this room. Where the heck is he at? Let me just pick up his water bowl. Put the water bowl in here. Bada bing, bada boom. Open this up. Where is he at? Saw him this morning. Here he is right here. Alright, little dude. Yeah, so I was just worried because he's he doesn't look too skinny, but he's definitely getting on the skinny side where like he needs to eat something. So hopefully being in this cage, he is going to eat. Now I'm gonna try to do this live. Even though I probably shouldn't, because obviously you're risking parasites and all that other fun stuff, feeding a wild caught animal. But that's apparently all that he's eating right now. And that's the most important part is that he eats. So if he's not eating anything dead, we gotta try it live at first. That's just how it is in the wild. You know, there's nobody, there's nobody that's gonna kill these little snakes for them in the wild. So we gotta let him do it the natural way first. And then hopefully once he gets a meal down and he realizes, oh food, then I can freeze these other two thaw them out that way it'll be parasite free it'll be a little safer for them. so let's get up a little close on here 
I'm gonna figure out which guy to give him. I'm gonna try to give him the smallest one. Probably like this guy right here, I'm saying that's probably gonna be the smallest. There we go. Oh, get back in here, crazy. Relax, relax, relax. Come on. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I feel bad. Ring necks. It sucks that they're gonna eat a that he's gonna eat a ring neck. Because honestly, ring necks are really awesome little snakes. This is one of the reasons why I got into snakes when I was a little kid is just look at that. That orange red belly. They're so cool, man. Such a cool little snake. And imagine being a little tiny three-year-old kid running around Florida catching little ring necks. Like, dude, these it's an awesome little snake. It sucks that that's what he's gonna eat. Because I love these guys. But Let's just see if he does anything with that ring neck. Of course, the ring neck just went and hid. Let's see. Let's. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to disturb the king. So maybe I'm just gonna see if I can take this hide box out very carefully. See. So now let's maybe see if the king. We'll see. Of course. The snake is gonna go in the back. I can tell the king is definitely interested. It's gotta be very slow. Very slow. I think he's a little freaked out by the movement. This is what we wanted finally. Now I'm gonna be very slow. Now we don't wanna interrupt him. We just want him to do his thing. Okay, so now he's interested. Now he got, now he knows that there's food inside of his cage and he's hungry. He's gonna try to eat him. Now I need to get this water bowl out of here though. Blood. There you go, buddy. Awesome. Oh, perfect. God, I'm so happy right now. Man. Oh my God. Don't want to make any noises like I'm doing. Now, this is what I waited for the whole time, man. I've been so worried that this little cobra has is not going to be eating. But now that I know that he's gonna take a dead snake what I had to do is stun that little snake now that I know that he's gonna eat a stun snake now I know it's probably pretty safe for me to freeze these other two just to make sure these guys don't have any parasites before I feed them to him next time but now we successfully have our first meal down which is pretty awesome because I was worried that this guy hasn't had a meal in about three weeks yeah about two probably yeah about two three weeks so this is great right now. So we're just gonna be super patient. And uh, once he feels like this thing is totally dead, then he's gonna start to eat it. And we'll get a good little video of that also. But I'm super pumped right now. This is great. I'm, so much stress is relieved right now, honestly. That's the, that's the hardest part about having kings, especially babies, is because when they're babies, they're not used to eating anything yet, you know? So that's. The hardest part is to get the captive bred babies eating like they would in the wild. You have to kind of trick them, and sometimes it's really tricky. Apparently, all these little babies have been eating great so far for everybody else. They just, he hasn't, I've had him for a week now, he hasn't eaten for me, but I've also been trying to feed him geckos and anoles, which were spooking him out. So now that we figured out this whole ring neck situation, He's got, th he's got two more right here. Hopefully I can find some more, some more baby snakes. Hopefully once he gets these three down in the next, over the course of the next couple weeks, he'll gain a little bit more size and it'll be a little bit easier to find other snakes for him. Hopefully I can switch him to baby corn snakes soon or something like that. So let's, uh, we're just gonna chill here while he finishes killing this guy.
All right, so now I can talk louder. He's eight, finally. Sorry we couldn't get all that on video. I tried to get as much as I could for you guys, but I didn't want to disturb him because obviously that is the most important part is for him to eat rather than to film it. It's great that I get to be able to share this with you guys, but the main thing is for my snake to eat. So check out this little guy. Now you can tell he's got a nice little meal in him. A little on the thicker side. Great. So now, I'm just gonna, I honestly really like the way that this setup is in here. He just has lots of room and lots of hiding in here. It's a great little, great little setup for him. He likes climbing up this stuff every time. Every time I come in here, sometimes he's like perched up on these, on these branches. He just likes it. More hiding spots for him. He feels more secure in here. So I'm gonna keep him, I'm gonna keep him in this little setup. I just wanted to give it a good 30 minutes before I mess with him. Let him digest or even just start a little bit just so I can move him back into his normal enclosure. So I'm just gonna carefully move him back in there. Try not to move him around too much. Put him right like that. Let him go back to hiding in there, feel nice and safe. He's such an awesome little guy. And they grow really fast too. So I'm really excited about showing you guys the progress of his growth and how his colors are gonna change and how his attitude is gonna change and just everything of this snake is gonna change pretty fast also. So that is it. All right, so that's it guys. I'm gonna go throw these little ringnecks in the freezer. So that way if they do have any parasites, we kill them, thaw them out next time. I'm gonna wait probably another week before I feed him the second one. Yeah, so about a week. So I'll make another video then. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay safe. Hope you guys are staying somewhat entertained out there. Hopefully people are getting back to work other places. I know I'm getting back to work very shortly. I'm probably gonna tattoo. I think we're opening up May 1st. So look out for dates when you can start booking again. Send me an email if you have any questions. Later guys, till the next time.